shooters shoot, and sometimes you got to shoot the right shot, even though lies are pretty, even when the truth is not. Anthony Joshua just caught a body. Francis Ngannou, out of there. He turned the predator to prey. People huddled around the sides. The medics had to pray. Nasty knockout. Boxing is back. Anthony Joshua just set boxing ablaze with a vicious, and I do mean vicious, knockout over heralded UFC combatant, former heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou. Crazy, crazy scenes in Saudi Arabia between Joshua and Ngannou. I mean, I'm still trying to process what I just seen. Anthony Joshua, he didn't have to do him like that, man. They got my mans. They got Sonny. Crazy stuff. So Anthony Joshua, he completely devastated Francis Ngannou. Very, very impressed with Anthony Joshua's performance. As you guys can see, it was not pretty for the Predator. The Predator got turned into prey. This is a screen grab of Francis Ngannou, like the Tom Cruise movie, eyes wide shut. Anthony Joshua rocked him to sleep and really put his lights out and put on for boxing. Big up, big up. Shout out to my UK bros. Big up. That's men things. He took a really durable. I mean, nobody in the UFC has done that to Nganu. And I try to warn people like I don't have anything against the UFC. UFC has good fighters and MMA fighters, but people have to understand these are two different sports, right? Just because you're good at football doesn't mean you're good at lacrosse or rugby, right? And that's kind of how I see it. You could be the man in like NFL rules or like even like UFC guys. Some UFC guys have then went on to go to like the bare knuckle and in an MMA sanctioned fight, maybe you beat platinum Mike Perry. But in that bare knuckle ish, he the man like he, he devastating guys and knocking people's teeth out and stuff like that. Just different rule sets and everything has its own rule set. And I look at it like influencer boxing, um, boxing versus MMA in boxing rules. And I'll be honest, more often than not, this is how it's going to look when when the, it, it's not even something that people should be so involved in and so concerned with. Like, for example, if you went to an auto body shop, an auto shop where they fix cars and you have limited experience, like you've never went to school for it. You haven't read all the books and manuals. You've only worked on certain types of cars versus somebody whose dad was a mechanic and then they became an auto mechanic and they've been around cars since they were seven. They've been working on cars with their daddy in the garage since they was 10 or 12 or seven. That's what in essence is happening in the world of boxing when we get these matches, right? Where you'll have the mechanic, he's been working on cars since age seven or 10 or nine or whatever. And it's no mystery that the novice person off the street who might know a little bit about their way around an engine and under the hood, it's not surprising that you're not going to be better than the person that's dedicated their whole life to just that. Joshua is an Olympic gold medalist. Now, I've fair play. I've had criticisms for Joshua. I think Joshua in the past has exhibited certain behaviors that seemed a bit weird you know he lost to ruiz seemed kind of unfocused after he dropped ruiz allowed himself to get caught and end up getting stopped and he was concussed in that fight he you know just certain things but no one on my channel is above criticism what joshua did right now it was great for boxing it was masterful 
Tyson Fury, when he fought in Ganu, let's be honest, Tyson Fury had boxing looking bad. People were like, oh, boxers suck and MMA rules and stuff like that. So if you're a fan of boxing, which I like the MMA, like I'm going to watch the Sean O'Malley fight, right? The rematch. But boxing is, this is what I do. This is like, this is my number one. This is the number one sport. This is what I rep. The name says boxing ego. So I'm always going to. I'm always going to rep boxing harder than anything for real, for real in terms of sports, but I don't have anything against any other sports. You can like multiple sports. I like football. You know, I'm, I'm good with baseball. I don't catch all the games and stuff, but the point I'm making is a lot of people, they think they could just cross over into boxing and it, it seldom really works like that. Tyson Fury had the boxing world looking bad. So a UK boxer had boxing looking pretty bad. And then guess what? Anthony Joshua, a UK British fighter, brought us brought us right back. More often than not, what you just seen right there. I mean, I don't know if it's always going to be devastating as devastating as that. But you because you have because credit to Joshua, he's six, six. So he was taller than Nganu. He has hands, obviously, and he has power. So the boxer would have to have certain natural abilities and or be of a certain skill set but i'm telling you more often than not if you come to this sport that's how it's going to look have you guys not learned you know where it could be the best mma or ufc striker it doesn't match well with the best boxer especially when when you start adding in elements of like power like for example if you take someone equal weight to terence crawford and you put them in a boxing rule set he is going to destroy them. Now, I know he has a wrestling background. I'm not talking about UFC if Crawford fought in the UFC. I'm talking about if they came into boxing and try to box with Crawford equal in weight, he's going to destroy them. Just like what Joshua did. Crawford is mean. He has a nasty mean streak. He's a great complete fighter and he's a switch hitter. If people who've been boxing their whole life, like Errol Spence, had very little answers no answers really with crawford and this is he was thought to be they were the top two southpaws so people think somebody from the mma or bellator or pfl is going to come in the boxing rule set of equal size now i'm not talking about something ridiculous like a ufc heavyweight where it's like way out of whack i'm talking about equal size people is going to be more like what you just seen with joshua so fair play tyson fury he had, I think his lack of preparation or whatever went on, because I thought he lost the fight to Nganu. It gave Nganu almost like a false sense of hope. And then Joshua was the ultimate reality check. Nganu did very well. I thought he beat Tyson Fury and he even hurt Fury and dropped him at least once that was scored, but he really dropped him more than that, right? So at the end of the day, I think Nganu was kind of feeling it. And he was like, all right, this boxing stuff is not that bad. But styles make fights. It's like these old adages in boxing, they make sense. There's a reason people say these things. Styles make fights. You fought Tyson Fury, he's not the biggest puncher. And then you went in there with Joshua, who is not as tall as Fury, but he's definitely hitting harder. And the outcome is this. We've never seen Nganu get knocked over in this way. He was dropped multiple times in this fight. I don't even remember, to be honest. It was two or three. After the second, he got dropped in the first round. And, and for his credit to him, I give credit to Nganu. Mad heart. He got heart. And just to lace him up and try something different, you got to give the man credit. But it definitely wasn't his night. And he felt those punches and joshua loaded up on that final right hand that completely put him out and it was just it was urder she wrote he was just out of there it was really kind of concerning like when pacquiao got knocked out i might want to i believe i when he got knocked out by many pacquiao got knocked out by juan manuel marquez it was those type of scenes in saudi arabia where you had to really worry about his safety and you know the medics were right there and he was on the ground 
for quite some time. So fair play to Anthony Joshua. It appears that he has something good going with Ben Davison. That partnership has been working. Previous to that, it was Derek James. But, you know, whatever they're working on has been working because we've seen this newfound, almost awesome Anthony Joshua and a resurgence in Anthony Joshua to the point where boxing is, again, these proverbs, these sayings, these idioms and adages, it's crazy how simple they are. You know how people say stuff like what goes around comes around, but it's true. Like these sayings are really, really true. But all of the classic cliche boxing sayings are very true. When people say stuff like styles make fights, you've seen that. And Ganu against a non-puncher, like or not the biggest puncher like Tyson Fury, he did well for himself against a massive puncher with a different style, albeit smaller, but that he had, Joshua had too much power, too much accuracy. You know, I'm surgical with this, Jake! Surgical, that was surgery. In the words of DMX, now you got what you came for, surgery with the chainsaw. <sighs> he was real surgical. He was landing time bombs. It's just no, the human skull and brain is not built to accept that type of punishment. It's just not, you're not gonna take bombs from no 6'6 dude on the chin, no head movement, and he hurt you already and dropped you in the first round. You're probably not fully recovered. You're not recovered. You get sent down again. You don't have no time to shake the cobwebs, and then he load up on a right, and then you are you don't, not being a, a pro boxer, you don't really know what to do. Like Floyd Mayweather got hurt in the second round with Sugar Shane Mosley, but Floyd is Floyd. Floyd knows how to conduct and handle himself in those dire moments because he's been there before. But if you haven't been boxing, it's foreign to you. And Fury, again, gave Nganu almost like a false sense of hope when it comes to boxing. And I think it was surprising. There were people like, Nganu's going to blast Joshua out there. You never heard me say that because I didn't think he was going to win here, right? Because Joshua just, first of all, he looked very good versus Otto Violin. And he's just a lifelong boxer, just like I said earlier with the mechanic example. You got one guy who's been a mechanic his whole life and then some guy who subtly dabbles in being a mechanic. He's not going to know as much as the, the person who's been there. It's like a seasoned firefighter and then somebody just became a firefighter and this is your first ride in the truck. You're not going to be as good as your counterparts. And I guess people, boxing is like theater of the unknown. And because Ngannou is nicknamed the Predator and he's conducted himself like a true champion and he possesses that power, it's always going to be like, what if? What if? So people are going to watch for those reasons just to see, like, can he land a time bomb? Because we have seen Joshua lose before to smaller people. And the final thing I will say is styles make fights. All these proverbs actually make sense styles make fights and things like that because this fight makes you really have to recalibrate and that's what i love about this beautiful sport of boxing make sure you subscribe for all your boxing news 24 7 daily content i have you covered so subscribe to the channel but what i love about boxing is sometimes it's just musical chairs because the styles make fights and things change just like that we went from Wilder, knockout puncher, to him unexpectedly losing to Joseph Parker. Parker, before that, got knocked out by Joe Joyce. And then the guy that just demolished Joe Joyce twice, Zhang Zilli just lost to Parker, and then Parker beat Wilder. AJ's resume is aging very well with the Parker victory, and then Parker then beating Wilder. And Fury beat Wilder right you got aj who after the Usyk fights he was looking like he was declining and he didn't look like the same fighter anymore got with derrick james got with robert garcia you know had some softer touch fights jermaine franklin supposed to fight dillian white he drops out because he failed a ped test 
it's just been a lot of movement now he's with ben davison and he's looking like the joshua in his first 15 fights and then nganu arguably aka he did beat tyson fury and before that when fury beat wilder joshua may not have been looking great in the Usyk fights around that time so people were saying joshua has no chance versus tyson fury including me i didn't say he didn't have no chance but i did say that i think fury beats him but then fury losing to nganu in my opinion or barely scraping by nganu and then joshua his last two performance with otto violin and decimating a durable nganu i'm no longer favoring fury because fury looks like the wars are starting to catch up to him and joshua seems to be getting everything clicking so i love that about boxing how and, and i'm not trying to overrate this because i expected this you know so i'm not saying i know he's gonna have harder fights if he fought anybody philip ergovich daniel dubois tyson fury they're not all gonna look like fighting a guy who's on his second boxing fight i get that but you know they both took the fight credit to them heart shown i'm sure he did the proper training it was not in ganu's night viral devastating knockout by anthony joshua and now you got to recalibrate and reassess can fury beat this joshua because at one point in time i would have said fury 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 beats him and now fury i mean Usyk beat joshua twice now you got to even look at fury versus Usyk for undisputed over there in saudi some people are like oh six way too small now you got to re look at all these things we might end up getting a trilogy with aj and Usyk. devastating knockout by anthony joshua shout out to anthony joshua he cleaned up nicely and he was very classy after it he didn't do no trash talk he was like yeah shout out to the people of cameroon you know they're my people he can come back it wasn't his night i mean he was very classy you got to respect joshua how he handled business he walked out he looked a little bit nervous but he he shook that off real quick and he was on fire fair play to him congratulations to anthony joshua